Hey guys, my name is Ellen Fox. Welcome to my channel and today we wear a hat for some reason. And also for some reason, I've started closing my eyes in my intros. I don't know, I just I shut them and I'm like, hello. So um, a few days ago, I watched the trailer for The Sandman and I had this bizarre idea. I was like, even though there is just one season of the show, I'm going to watch just the first and last episode. I don't know, I, I you know, I'm, I have my midterms and I don't have all the time in the world. So I was interested and I did not have the time to watch the entire thing and I was very curious about the ending so I just, I did it. First episode, last episode. And the same went for like Never Have I Ever. I watched like the first two, three episodes and then I was like, I don't have the time. There is like 140 pages that I have to read of a history book. So I just watched like the last few scenes and I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> um, Midterms have really like gotten to my head. So we have four left hopefully we'll make out alive and then we'll start watching entire series for now i have watched the first and last episode so let's talk about it you mortals go about your work don't you just love it humans mocking humans you mortals when was the last time you watched a supernatural tv show and there wasn't the dialogue you mortals what's the problem like why do we like the, the I feel like the most common genre nowadays is humans just basically hating the fact that they're humans. Not that there is much to be proud of, you know, regarding being a human. Like there there isn't much we can do. Like some humans that are like going out into like outer space and stuff, but like the rest of us are fucking potatoes. So I don't think there is like yeah, I think it's it's good that we're marking ourselves. I'm a sucker for gates, like instant crush like if, if if there is a good gate i would rather marry a good gate over a human i just have such an obsession with gates like large gates they're just look at it. it even has horns like love handles it's just so beautiful an adventure i keep waiting for this crow to turn into a human but he's just choosing not to i mean i'm, I'm waiting for him to like turn into the sandman but he's just not doing it so you mean to tell me that the raven was never meant to turn into miss the sandman is simply excessive we'll call him sandy from now on so the raven was never meant to turn into sandy he's like this this little pet of his like maleficent's crow and secondly sandy was narrating the whole thing from the beginning he was the one walking the mortals like i thought it was an old man speaking there is a difference between a deep voice and a TikTok deep voice. And this is a TikTok deep voice. Like literally 13 year old TikTokers wake up every day and they choose to like puncture their vocal cords. They're like, let's fit in like a hairdryer, like a, like a whistler or whatnot. And we're gonna turn our vocal cords into this deep voice. The hose goes the My Lord, you are coming back, aren't you? Why would I not return, Lucia? Tale as old as time. You know that motherfucker is not coming back when they ask, you will be coming back, right? He's not coming back. He'll die that day. The car literally like dropped him off. Didn't even see him inside of it. Like, go die, bitch. What an unexpected pleasure. Alex T for our guest. What sort of a household is this? Like Alex is the only maid there. Everyone else is just like involved in sorcery. Like there are butlers, there are nuns, there are people stabbing themselves. And then little Alex is the maid. Like he's opening doors, he's making tea. He's the son of the house, sir. Is this how we choose to treat him? There is nothing preventing us from taking whoever. My lord. Bitches really be standing in front of their lord and being like, there is nothing stopping us. And then going, my lord. As if you did not just offend him. My lord. I mean, I was disrespecting you, but like, why would you want to kill me? Do not bite the hand that feeds you. So I think when Sandy turns someone into sand, 
that's when like the angel of death or whatnot comes in and like obviously takes the soul or whatnot. So that's where it messed up. It was supposed to take a chicken, but instead they took a cow. Now get us a good chicken this time. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, one chicken coming up. Get that pout for me. But be careful. Oh my God. So not only is Alex the doorman and the maid, he's also the guinea pig. Like we first try things on him and then we do them on ourselves. I thought we were a cruelty-free brand. I thought no animals were supposed to be harmed in the, in the making of this video. There goes the freaking guinea pig. Lovey? Ooh, so the people that dreamed that night are not going to wake up. Interessant. That's that's nice. That's good. Though I am once again disappointed in the lack of power the protagonists have. Why is it that the, they make the hero so darn weak? I'm tired of this. He's supposed to be the god of dreams and here he is laying naked. Like at, at least he should summon some clothes for himself. Come on. That's, that's like the, I, I don't think a lot of power is required for that but yet here we are terminators come like this gods come like this literally they wake up and choose to be naked but for the rest of the world the suffering i will not believe for one moment that no one fell asleep in his presence in 10 years like sometimes i wake up and i realize that i fell asleep like i've been in class taking notes and suddenly i'm like Wait, I fell asleep for a second there. No one fell asleep. No one. Ten years. Not even Alex did anything. I had high hopes for you, Alex. I thought you were going to like break him free on like the tenth day, but you didn't. At least you should have like opened the spear and like given him some clothes or something. Or perhaps they did. Perhaps they did. No. I just wanted to ask. Are you all right in there? He's like, bitch the fuck. If I had been silent for 10 years, this would have been the moment. I, if I were in a coma, I would have still like woken up and I would have been like, bitch the fuck. Do I look all right to you? 10 years? of staying in a glass dome naked and you're questioning me if I'm all right or not. Alex, you were supposed to free me the 10th day and 10 years have gone by and you come in here and ask me first. First you ask me, can I ask you something? And I was expecting that he'd be like, can I come down here? Can you like teach me some sorcery? Or like, do you need some clothes, sir? Can I ask you a question? And the question is, do you need some clothes? Do you need like, should I tie like a cloth to some extent around the glass that like, give you some privacy? D do you need to go to the loo? There are so many questions. And this one is the one he chose to ask. Are you all right? Oh yeah, why yes, I'm having a picnic inside, Alex. So I, I would let you out. Yeah. Come on, Sandy, strike a deal. 10 years. You're not gonna get anything out of this pride. Like, honestly, 10 years naked in a glass. Okay, forget about the part. We were, we're talking way too much about the, about the nakedness of the situation. But the point is, your realm needs you. There are people out there that have been asleep for probably 10 years. Your, your doors might need cleaning. It is about time that you get yourself released. Why are you not doing it? Sandy, come on. Come, come on, get up, try to break the glass, get up, try to seduce Alex, you naked for God's sake. Do something. You son of a bitch. Alex, you were supposed to Free, Sandy? I had high hopes for you, you son of a fucker. Shut the fucking... 
I didn't think he, he would even know how to hold a gun. Like, who even paid for the tuition? I highly doubt the Magus even ever, ever sent him to school. Who taught him to shoot a gun? Who made him a perfect shot? How did he find the guts to shoot the gun? would hate you as much as I do. <laughs> but that solves that issue. No thanks to Alexander, though. Oi! Open your hands now! I love how they always show literal idiot cops. Like, this nuclear bomb would be about to explode in front of them and they'll, like, take out their gun and be like, Hold still! God, I can marry that gate. That is one beautiful gate. But there's so little faith in me. See, this is the problem with men. He literally left for a hundred years, comes back and goes, is that the amount of faith you had in me? Sir, we tried to make this long distance relationship work for a hundred years. How much longer did you want us to wait? A hundred years. We waited and you never showed up. What were you expecting? Were we going to sit around like nuns waiting for you while you sit there naked in front of like hundreds of people? We tried to make this relationship work. Sandy, you're the one at fault here. Who's Morpheus? Jenny, uh, can you give us a minute? The fact that this guy is still alive is very concerning for me. I told you he's going to become like the main villain, but I don't like it. He, he doesn't exactly have the main villain vibes about him. Or perhaps he did like some really ultra villainish things in the episodes I didn't watch. Perhaps. You know, that would explain why Sandy was unable to get rid of him in all the in-between episodes. But obviously it's not safe for you to be wandering around the hotel. And if you leave the hotel... Might I suggest one way you can protect yourself? Get in bed and cover yourself in the blanket from head to toe. Nobody can get you then. Not even the monsters under your bed. I actually have a really cool bed. So my bed has this design. So <laughs> I, I'm like never afraid to sit in front of it because what can touch me? It's, it's literally like this big. Nobody can pull me under from this much space. And it's like this at all sides. <laughs> and there is a light underneath, so it's, it's not scary. We kill to kill. It's not funny, but that is the truth. And I've never seen a non-American person actually say that. It's so wrong. You know, the fact that some economies are literally based on weapons. Horrible. Explorers. You know what's even more creepy? The fact that they're literally like tearing humans apart and their expressions are so pleasant, like they're daydreaming, like... Like, I would be kissing my crush in my dream, and yet you would not see me smiling, and they're like... Oh, yeah. Soldiers of fortune. Is, is that the new leather bag edition? Does human skin count as leather? For the cheap, cheap price of $5,000? Thank you, Sandy, please come in. There are people making bags out of human skin and, and making very pleasant expressions that, that is making me make unpleasant expressions and that's gonna result in me needing Botox. Please do something about this whole situation. Because I won't go willingly. Oh my God. Did you not see how this ended for you last time? What is, like, you really got no brain? Okay, plot twist. Sandy, it has been like 10 episodes. For the love of God, get your powers back. You're bringing disgrace to the family. If you think I'm going back to the dreaming with you, you're not going back. It's literally like the boyfriend cheating and then saying, if you think we'll be staying in this relationship, like, sir, I am not staying in this relationship. Do you honestly think he's still going to take you back? Whatever drugs you're on, I need that. I need to be this deluded. What is wrong with this man? He has fuck. I thought I 
his eyes were like slits, like, you know, somebody cut his eyes and that's why he's wearing glasses. But he, he doesn't have eyes. He has two more set of, of mouths. Why was he going around cutting people's eyes and like, go to the dentist, get some fake teeth, put those in there. Do not get them ideas. Crush it, Sandy. Crush it. I don't know why I even have expectations from you. You're a disgrace upon the family. So he is capable of some magic. Okay, Sandy, you get some points. You want me to follow her? He talks in a very jolly voice too. <laughs> More points. And Barbie and Ken and Hal are here. We're taking good care of her road. <laughs> Siri is so American, I cannot. Barbie and Ken? Seriously? Are those their real names? Barbie and Ken? Unity? Oh, good morning, darling. I woke you up. I'm Unity? Dream was in there for like 50, 60 years at least. So how did Unity ever birth a child? Did she wake up? Like, I thought she, like, the people who fell asleep woke up when he was finally freed. So Unity was probably, like, 70 by the time she woke up. Like, huh? I'm sorry I woke you. Sweet dreams. Wait a darn second. Where did she even learn the term sweet dreams? I'm pretty sure she was born and raised during a time when people were not having dreams anymore. They were probably having nightmares, but dream was in a cage, so. Sleep and start bringing the walls down. Okay. Wherever we go. That touch the fact that you know the vortex is supposed to be able to travel through dreams so she is traveling through like nightmares and then she suddenly enters this room where people are dancing and singing that's these like instant switches are quite quite interesting and make a lot of sense and give me whatever it is that makes you the vortex but uh, how I'm like almost 100% certain that if somebody asks me to reach inside and hand something out, I'll like pull out my liver or something. I would prefer the liver to that. That's lame. Mirror, mirror on the wall was the biggest dumb fuck of them all. You know you're always welcome in my chambers. I like those chambers. Those are really bright, hot red chambers. I like those. <laughs> Do you believe yourself strong enough to stand against me? Against death? Against destiny? Hey, yeah, you may speak of death and destiny, but I don't think anyone here is afraid to face you, Mr. Dream, because, like, you should have snapped the bastard's neck right there and then. He's all words, this man. He doesn't do anything. In these two episodes that I've watched, there have been, like, no action. Seriously. I'm, I'm... Okay, tell me in the comments. Is there some section? Is... Section? <laughs> some action in this series or not? Because otherwise, I'm not watching. He is way too calm and composed for my liking. Just go around. Give people some nightmares. Then give them some hallucinations. And then I'll be interested. He just goes around threatening people. Or like actually like sits them down. He's like, okay, listen to me. I, I might have to kill you, you know, if you allow it. Like the universe is at the brick of destruction. But do I have your permission to kill you? Come on, dream. You've been in a cage for a century. I was expecting some rage at this point. We're building terminators, okay. And one day... Even the Silver City. Is she supposed to be Lucifer? 
Because I thought Desire was like Lucifer. But I think she's Lucifer. Or perhaps not. But I, 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 don't, I actually hope she's not Lucifer because Lucifer would not be caught dead in that cheap silk robe. Something that I have never done before. If you've been around for millennia and there are still things that you have never done before, just step in the sun. <laughs> it's like a meme. They're like, why are all vampires always rich? And they were like, if you have been around for centuries and you're still poor, just step in the sun. Similarly, if you've been around for millennia and there are still things that you haven't done, just step in the sun. Go die somewhere. Something that will make God absolutely livid. I'll tell you what's making me livid. A cheap robe. And that was it. And the, the eye, the, the mouth-eyed man is so important the story that he was the first one to come and then credit so perhaps dream does have like some sort of sentimental values attached to him that i'm clearly unaware of sorry but uh i hate you and until i watch the other episodes and um make a decision otherwise so end thoughts the only thing that is making me want to watch the rest of the series is to know how unity got pregnant <laughs> That is my one main goal and also to check if Dream does show some action some places or not like maybe he grows wings at one point maybe he braids fire I don't know I really hope he does because otherwise I'm going to be so disappointed why is this god not doing anything you're supposed to be powerful come on you're a god for crying out loud of the endless or whatnot please do something nice um I think I would watch this I, I would like at least watch a few episodes and if nothing happens then I'll watch till the end and hope that something happens. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give me a like, also comment below and let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. Subscribe, click the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload. And also follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. They're both at Alna Fox. And yeah, that is it. I'm the only Alna Fox in this world. And the fact that, you know, in the beginning, Sandy looked much younger, but then like 100 years later, he started looking like a bit aged. I think, I don't know if that was an intended detail or not, but I think that was a good detail. So let me know which details you found most interesting and bye. It's when we leave and all the